The second type of research design is the correlational study. Investigators use correlational studies to look at the relationships between the variables, or the things they want to study. For example, a researcher might want to know if there's a relationship between the number of exams given at a university in one week and the number of pizzas that the local pizza place sells during the same week. The researcher can't control how many exams are given or how many pizzas are sold, but she can see if there's a relationship between the two, and if so, what kind of relationship it is. So, in a correlational study, the researcher doesn't have control over the variables, but just studies the relation between them. A positive correlation is when the variables do the same thing at the same time. That is, as one increases or decreases, so does the other. So if pizza sales skyrocket during exam week at the end of each semester, we can say there's a positive correlation between exams and pizza consumption. A positive correlation suggests a direct relationship between the variables. They do the same thing at the same time. So like, what's a negative correlation? A negative correlation is when the two variables do the opposite thing from each other. If pizza sales dropped significantly during every exam week, there would be a negative correlation between exams and pizza consumption. A negative correlation suggests an indirect relationship between the variables. One variable does the opposite of what the other is doing. But there's one really important thing to keep in mind with correlations. You can't say for sure that the change in one variable, or one thing you're studying, causes the change in the other variable. With our pizza example, if you found that pizza sales consistently doubled during every exam week at your school, you still couldn't say for sure that students are ordering more pizza because they have more exams to study for. Professors may give more exams when it's cold. So maybe the students are just staying in and ordering pizzas because they don't want to go out in the cold. Or maybe it's just because they like sausage. Fact is, you just don't know. All you know for sure is that there seems to be some relationship between how many exams students are taking and how much pizza they're ordering. Hey, pizza man. Mmm, thanks. You want a bite? <laughs>